I don't even. <laughs> Welcome, guys, today to episode 15 of the of the Pigeon Pod podcast. This is a uh, podcast. We have, it feels like forever since we did one, because it was forever since we did one. We missed the month. Uh, it's April, <laughs> Easter, April Fools, Good Friday, it's a podcast. Poetry Month, um, Pottery. Oh yeah, right. Pottery. Pottery month. Dude, there's pottery <laughs> here. You're you burst the cash. Yeah. Oh, what? 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 Ah, okay. <laughs> what? Oh. Huh. So let's start off simple. How was your guys' Easter's? Terrible. I had eggs and what ham. I actually didn't do shit for Easter, and it was so good. I, I found out a tree. Chop down a tree? Yeah. <laughs> Can I yeah, chop down your axe? tree? Not with an axe, but chainsaw. Oh, chainsaw. That's kind of hot. Mm. What the tree do, though? He wants maple syrup. The tree was in my way. You just <laughs> mercilessly <laughs> cut him down? Okay, just go around. <laughs> he was in his way. So he's going to he gets a, me. He gets a chainsaw. He, he was being a little too disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> That so, going to murder me, Alano. Uh, Orny. Kill it. On me and murder me. How is your Easter, my Coco? Specifically me, because the way it's pointed and the way that it's like all it shit, it was literally going You're to fall. You're telling on me. You're telling <laughs> me. <that laughs> you're, <bumping laughs> street, you're gonna whip out a chainsaw <laughs> and just fucking chop them. <laughs> no, you know what tree is? You know that tree in the middle of my like, in my backyard, like there's a big tree in like the patch of grass. No, there. you killed that tree. It was going to fall on us a lot. It was rotting from the inside. That's what they all said. Didn't that tree have an ass? Could you just ask it to stay up? <laughs> oh. Yeah. You could just held it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just hire. Just hire. Just around the <laughs> just hire somebody walking on the sidewalk. Like, can you hold this up for us? I it's like a very elaborate police system. <laughs> but um, the last I time I, the last time I did like anything Easter themed was last Easter <laughs> where I actually painted eggs. But it's a waste of food, so I'm gonna paint or egg. I'm gonna lay Ooh. eggs. You got, you can lay eggs. I'm an ostrich. Pretty cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, whatever that means. I do. I have breakfast, yeah. Alright. Um, so, recently, I made a total drama, my own total drama cast. If you guys don't know what total drama is, it was kind of like. Still black. It's kind of like a cartoon show, except it was like a reality Mm. show of a cartoon. And, um, yeah, so I made my own characters. Made and made. So, I'll go over the characters. I also made a comic as well. Um, it's not done, but I started like a week ago. It's very scary. It's not. Oh, we got Austin. As you can see, he's cool. What? I hate you. That? Oh, I just bought That's a big fat cock. All right, this is oh, shit. This is Alfreda, another character. I feel like I'm going through a phase or something, which I probably am. This is Marva. This is Cole, but it looks like a lot, all right. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what a little loser. <laughs> yeah. This is Oslin, as you can see. Uh, Truman. Let's... Don't. I've never <laughs> seen that one before. He didn't. He looks like you. Uh, this is what? Reagan. Because <laughs> President Reagan died in 2004. And this is Maybell. I wonder who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't an assassination. I think he just died of old age. Uh, uh-huh, yep. Gail. Uh-huh. He tripped. Uh, they didn't have life lock back then. Victoria, uh, Michella. Hey, that looks like 
grass. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is. Uh, this like looks like Raf Xander. <laughs> his fucking neck! <laughs> Look at his fucking Raph neck! <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is Mo. He got voted off because he was fat. <laughs> this is B. No, this is B. Tris because he gets too ugly! <laughs> Bob, he got voted off because he couldn't communicate with the teammate. <laughs> it's a valid reason. <laughs> and bot toy. Yeah. Um. You were lied to, Anthony. You were lied to. You feel the need to violently drown bot toy. Yeah. <laughs> he did drown. When That's you first told me about bot toys, the first thought, like, the first image that came into my head was, like, they first get on the island, <laughs> and, like, they immediately just pick up bot toy and just fucking drown him in the nearby river. And then, um, here's the comic. Uh, that's what it looks like. This is season one. Keep in mind, um, Primic is season two. Um, a new, a whole new cast. Maybe there might be some of the members from this first season. Season two. two. One of the characters is gonna get thrown off the show because they say a slur. Yeah! Oh. Which slur should oh. they say, though? There's a lot. It's like, it's like You're a... Have to write <laughs> that. Get in the show below. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> It's like an assorted box of chocolates, except it's like an assorted box of slurs, and you kind of like pick your, your you kind of pick your favorite one. <laughs> like it's your fa favorite flavor. flavor. <laughs> you just have like thousands of emails. <laughs> yeah, let's probably not say slurs because this would probably get taken down word. for it. I'm pretty sure YouTube takes down pot videos for hate speech if, there, if there's a slur in it. So, it's alright though, guys, right? We're family friendly. Email us. So, yeah. obviously, um, this is kind of the gist of it. It's not colored or anything, not the best. Uh, I didn't put much effort into it because it's like, you know, 20, 20 pages, and it's like I'm an impatient person. But, if I see, basically, uh, there's a lot of, like drawings and stuff. I don't know how I'm going to show this. I, I think the only re the only way I can show this is if it's like in real life. In like the real world. It's just so much. Stop, you guys. All right. That that's basic. It's called bailout and um yeah, it's it's going pretty good so far. People get voted off for the Look, stupidest this, reasons. My computer's breaking down. Alano's <laughs> getting Alano's getting hacked. Um, I'm still black. I think okay. Here, I'll go over the elimination list and like so far why the characters got eliminated. Here you go, die. Um, so, bot- Your second Anthony, I'm DDoSing Alana. Alright. Whatever that means. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. What's wrong one? <laughs> so this is- <laughs> So, Botoid idea. gets eliminated in episode one. Because he's a, you know, it's a robot. You can't do good water, and it's just a disadvantage. Episode two, Carl, uh, Bob gets eliminated because he wasn't helping out his team. That's another valid reason. I mean, he's so far so good. <laughs> Episode three, Carl gets eliminated because he was too fat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> told him that he had to be, like, fucking ripped to go on the show. <laughs> oh, and then episode like, four. Like, imagine the conversation around the campfire they had. <laughs> like, what, what dialogue did you put in there? <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, well, well like, I'll read it. Don't get the marsh. Well, tonight you have to. <laughs> okay, well, it says, well, tonight you have proven to me that anyone can be a loser. You guys suck. Time to vote. And then the confessionals that they have. Uh, Xander said, Carl screwed up. So you know who I'll be voting. 
Okay, the results are in. Carl, get your fat self out of here. You're eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> but the elimination mechanism is you get eaten by this thing. Pixels, <laughs> you get eaten by this thing. Yeah, you get eaten by that thing. It's white for me. Because you're blind. I'm so scared. Because it's not loading. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't see my face cam? Oh, I can. No, it's just low quality, so it's just like white things blurry, and I'm very scared. <laughs> yeah, don't be. There's some more explicit drawings in here. But anyways, um, <laughs> in the poop and pee episode, that and a few others. Um, <laughs> um. So and then Beatrice gets eliminated on episode four because she is too ugly. <laughs> Reminds me of my 11th birthday party. Okay, tell me why you have to be pretty to be in the show. Like, what are the advantages that makes you win? But... I don't know. <laughs> you know, if you think hard enough about it, this could stand as a satire. It is satire. Of how a lot of, uh, of, of how a lot of uh, Survivor-esque shows... Uh, only show I'm not gonna keep with that. I'm sorry. P poop episode, Anthony. Yeah, we'll get to that. Kiss. <laughs> episode five, Mount to Baby challenge. Mo gets eliminated because he was too fat as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's just that the teammates thought he was too fat. <laughs> Wait, what was his name? Oh my god. Oh, I can probably show the drawings. I don't know if you can still see. I can't see anything. Oh my! The, the for the for the viewers for the viewers out there, love you to death. Um, yeah, you could guy you guys can see it because on my screen, my quality's everyone's quality's good on my screen. Um. And then episode six, there's no elimination because, um, well, neither of the teams could really do the job right. And then Truman, he gets swapped to the other team. So, you know, now the teams are even. There, it's Anthony, the this is what we see. It's just white. Hold on. Final 12. And then episode seven, Ra uh, Xander gets eliminated because, um, they were doing a musical performance, and then Xander rapped, and then it was just a bunch of gibberish, and no one could understand, and he got eliminated because of that. <laughs> Episode 8's the piss and poop! <laughs> um, there's sensor bars, so I think it's alright to show it. The whole page isn't censored? It's alright! It's alright! Here you go, viewers! Here you, here you can pause to read! I don't want to! I don't want to! Oh, God. Um, um, I wonder- I forgot who won that one. Um, okay, Team da ba Okay, there's two teams, Team da Baby and Team Strappies. Um, the the host said that it's surprising how Team Strappies are the one that are being dominated, but um, Team Strappies loses once again, and they they vote out Michelle, and then this is how she gets she gets voted off. Um, yeah, and then episode nine is the bear that could you have to try to kill a bear, but instead Victoria, she technically didn't get eliminated by vote. She kind of just got eliminated because she got shot. In the chest, <laughs> she fucking died because uh, someone someone accidentally shot her, and then <laughs> she died. Eliminated. <laughs> but there's like no medical medical experts on the line. It's like <laughs> she did walk to the doctor's shame in heaven. <laughs> her body just got. I, I think her body just sits there. I, I don't think anyone does anything. Um, Wait, what happened? I missed it. Victoria's a, uh, in the final ten. 
Victoria gets shot, and then she technically gets eliminated. <laughs> she gets eliminated. <laughs> she gets eliminated. Uh, no, no, no. She, eliminated. No, because the challenge was to kill a bear, and then one of her other teammates accidentally shot her, so she died. So as a result of her death, she's the one who will take the position of being eliminated. Bro, <laughs> I'm fully loaded <laughs> It's like total drama if it was like literally rated R. Um episode ten, Truth or Tears. Loaded gun. The final nine. Um Gail gets accused of of a lot of things that which aren't true. <laughs> no, just a lot of things. <laughs> Controversial stuff. And then he gets eliminated. And then now there's eight people left. Episode 11 is the, box the boxing challenge. Uh, some characters are shirtless, but it's it's okay. It's just like, it's the men. The men are the ones that are shirtless. It's, um, yeah, people fight each other. And no, oh. Oslin's nipples get squeezed. And twisted, actually. Wow. And then, um... <laughs> I'll show that one, actually. So if you guys can see that. Uh, which one is it? This one. Yeah, his nipples right. get squeezed. There's no elimination, because, um... Uh, it was getting too personal. People hated each other. You know, drama. So, uh, the host made Alfreda switch teams with Cole... Because I think Alfreda and Maybell have drama against each other. They don't like each other. And then episode 12, you know, it's the final eight. And uh, it's the cooking challenge. And then, um... Basically... What was the person that shot the other person? <laughs> like, they just didn't get punished? No, that was Alfreda. Uh, <laughs> you just murder all your, all your fucking competition. <laughs> Like you can you can just murder all your competition and just get away with it. And be like, oh, I guess the other ones have been eliminated. I felt like this. I feel like this was sad because Maybell got bullied and then she was crying and then everyone voted her off and then she got eaten as a result because you know elimination ceremony. Got eaten. <laughs> That's the elimination. It's, a <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a it's like a huge dinosaur that eats you. Kind of sucks you up. It doesn't like chew you apart. Fuck! Why is there so much murder? You can't just send them on a ship back to where they came from. That sounds fucked up. Damn it! Don't take that out of context. Don't take that. That's the news. Slowly losing it. It's so dirty. Fishing frenzy. <laughs> And then, uh, basically, it's a fishing challenge. The teams emerge. It's the final seven. And then, um, yeah, uh, uh, Austin is a good fisher. He got all the fish. And then, um... The host should be in jail. And then, and then uh, the next person to get voted out is Reagan, because she found out that um, Elfrida was lying and plotting against everyone. And that's why she got voted off, because of a bunch of drama. And then we're at the final six, episode 14. Blackout. The drama. I Killing your <laughs> teammates. <laughs> <laughs> and episode 14 was the blackout challenge, where it's basically like the island lost power. Well, no. And it's like, <laughs> what? The island lost. The island lost power, and like, um, the team has to go into a cave to try to turn the power back on so the island gets power again. And, um, Truman ends up getting injured, and he gets eaten while he's injured. He gets eliminated. <laughs> what the fuck? Can they just go back home safely? No. The only one that... Eliminated. The only, the only person that went back home safely, I think, was the robot. <laughs> the only fucking... Not, not, even, a not even a living organism. <laughs> you know what <laughs> Why is it that some people that lose get eaten by a dinosaur and others get sent home? No, they all get eaten by dinosaurs. So what about the robot? Well, I didn't think of an elimination mechanism on the first episode, so I introduced it in the second one. <laughs> Kinder eggs? The fuck? Episode 15, Among Us Challenge. <laughs> Um, the, the final five opponents, here they are, the final five, it's Cole, Oslin, uh, Austin, Marva, and Elfrida, 
So basically, they have to find the imposter. They have to go to the little Among Us creatures. And, um, but Oslin couldn't guess them right, so he got sent home, and he got eaten as a result. And it's the final four now. It's Peter's full. We're based... Yo. It's episode... So, the episode another person got eaten? Yeah, there's, fi there's four, there's four people left. The old <laughs> there's four people left. Here, here's the thing. So episode 16, Peter's full. The final four have to help the host out because his his dino his pet dinosaur got too full from eating all the con the past contestants. He hasn't digested them yet. <laughs> so basically, My dinosaur is too full. That's what he looks like. Friends, He's so. all naked and everything. Um, but um. I haven't I haven't finished the the, the the comic yet. That's where I'm at. But what I'm planning to do for this episode is like when they um make him poop, they're like parts and like arms and legs that like it's like <laughs> they come out of his poop and there's like some teammates that are like they like lost their legs and they're just like crying for help. There's so much blood and just, just crying. Just sound like amazing. <laughs> Alright, um, that's I'm basically... I'm definitely taking that out of context. <laughs> that's basically the com That's basically the comic, guys. Um, uh, child-friendly PG. Um, here's the back side, as you can see, guys. It's so, it's PG and everything. PG scenes for parents gone. Parents gone. <laughs> no, no, no. Parents um, get eaten. No, okay, so that was the comic that I made. It's, it's, I think it'll be finished by this weekend, because there are only 20 episodes. What? If I looked at that in real life, I would die immediately. <laughs> I'll bring it with me next time we visit each other or something. Like, I'll bring it. Like, well, Anthony, what's that in your pocket? Anthony, what's that in your pocket? Oh, I'll, I'll show it's you, Anthony. comic. Just falls down the stairs and dies. Dude, all my comics look child-friendly on the <laughs> outside. Like, this looks real. This looks child-friendly on the outside, but on the inside, it's not. That's what I like to do with the it's stuff I... It's a story I... about love and loss. That's <laughs> literally... <laughs> um, you get voted off the island of life. But oh, yeah. it's fat. Get him. <laughs> Maybe season two will be less bad, less inappropriate, maybe. Less <laughs> bad. Go, I'm planning. Just go child friendly now. <laughs> <laughs> Season two, I think there'll be less contestants, like fourteen instead of seventeen, um, because the budget is too high. That way we can kill him. He's way more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the deaths will be more gruesome every season. So, does this say in the contract that the people will probably die? No, they said that they'll. They said the contract said that they'll just get sent home. <laughs> in reality, that's not true. Okay. Like a week later, they're fucking dangling over a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is it's like Total Drama Island, so it's getting televised. <laughs> it's like a little murder on television. <laughs> no, but seriously, th there's like, you know, there's some drama, but the drama and everything between the characters is like. Like, like the side, like the subplot. The main plot is that, you know, Cole, Oslo, and a few other characters find out, that, you know, as the episodes go, there's, like, secrets on the island that they find that, like, tell about the island's past. And they find out that the, this, the, the show they sign up for is a trap. But it's too late before they can like try to get everyone Didn't off the island. Find out when they were talking people into dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, because no, because not no no not everyone watched no no one okay. With the elimination ceremonies are different because the bottom two players that got the most votes get into a room and no one else is allowed in the room, so they get eaten by the dinosaur. It it's. <laughs> I don't know. It's, a lot of, uh, it's okay. It just um, by the end of the season one, though, um, I'm planning 
Is there an audio book for it? Yeah, spoiler alert, guys. Um, I'm planning for the winner to be Austin, but um, he basically kind of helps off because Alfreda's kind of like the Heather of the comic where she's like the mean bossy one that gets everyone in drama and she's the reason why like half the people on the show are uh, got eliminated is because of her sabotaging people but it's like she kind of has like character development in the last two episodes where it's like oh I'm mean because you know I'm back home I get bullied and that's why I came on this show to prove to people I could do it and um th they both <laughs> getting they both escape on a boat and, um, yeah, the island explodes. Thus, season two, uh, I'm planning it to be, like, a cruise ship kind of a way where it's, like, they're on a cruise ship, and they visit different islands and stuff. <laughs> Someone just fucking sinks it, and like, oh, I guess they're all, <laughs> elim <laughs> they're all eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to you. Just a fucking blank screen. <laughs> the host got eliminated. Got eliminated. What the <laughs> God, someone just someone fucking gets voted off. They just toss them out to sea. Yeah, that's what. They throw them off the ship. No yeah. chance of survival. They hit that water. They are dead. <laughs> No, I just like Remember chicken. Remember this was about you? About what? So the egg. Did you lay that? Are we gonna talk about you... the poop and pee theory? Well, Are actually, no. Okay. no. No way. Let's I'm backtrack. So tired of that. Well, let's got let's gotta get this out of the way first. You know, I want this to be, you know, widely just known. Just the channel. I want us to be widely known. I want us to be widely known upon people. That um basically if you guys are longtime subscribers, um audio and uh, viewers, audio listeners and viewers, you might know that I was in a YouTube group like a year ago called the Dinner Table and I disbanded from that because I didn't feel like the group was doing any good for any of us and it was like everyone was kind of focused on their main channels more than the group channel so it was like what was the point when I was the one putting all the effort into it so I kind of just left that channel to sit there and I remembered the hmm you know I haven't been on this account in a while so I might as well give the password to Alano and then Alano just changes it into like a, an account called Peter Schmidtle. His second channel. It's his second channel now. Speaking of, <laughs> subscribe to Alano. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. I'll put the links to all the channels in the uh, comment section or description box, whatever. But um, basically. What we decided to do, okay, so the last normal upload on the dinner table, dinner table, was six months ago. And we uploaded, like, six videos in one day called I Love Your Mommy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It was just Raph eating cereal. And they got they got some views. There were still some dinner table people that were had their hopes up for a second. But I don't think they were happy. <laughs> I don't think they were happy when they found out it was Peter Schmidtle. <laughs> Peter Schmidtle. <laughs> just, like, just like, oh boy. Oh, this group channel. I love your mom. <laughs> Peter Schmidtle. And then we upload three. Schmittle. We upload three new videos called The Poop and Pee Theory, Lesson 1. Lesson two and lesson Explain three. Explain the origins. Explain the origins. Okay, so, you know, there's two counterclaims where poop and pee equals three and poop and pee equals two. And there's, like, two sides, kind of like how Earth is round or flat. And, oh. um, basic, Wait. basically, we, it's like a math Wait, formula sorry, that we have to there. equate. And it was basically like a math lesson that we kind of turned to a video. And this is a free lesson package plan. If you want the premium version for forty nine ninety nine dollars uh, a year, uh, you can download that using code PPIGEON. Uh, you get 15% off on your lesson package. But um, it, it explains the fundamentals of poop plus pee theory. We can listen to a little snippet of it. Um, <clears throat> Please. Please, I don't want to talk about this. We can I listen to lesson to three to introduce it a little. Let me explain this. Let me explain this. Welcome to 10th grade Please. class. Welcome to 
back from your Christmas break. Today we're going to be looking at the poop and pee equation, the right way to the theory. Um, as I've said before, the Christmas break, we're going to discuss this theory no before we head to our no winter. More. And <laughs> oh no our original theory is we once believed that poop plus pee equals three. But ever since a recent study in 2021, <laughs> I hate you guys. What's up? Good job. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, um. Anthony came up with the theory. Yeah. No, Alano did. Said, said oh. One day I just said poop and pee equals three. No, 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 the, 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 the first good. one. It was like, who, yeah, pee plus who equals two. And then Alano was like, well, then does P and no, poo plus P equals three. And then I was no, like, <laughs> we're actually discussing came... this. I think three came yeah. first though. Now three did come first. Either way, yeah, three came first. Either way, and then I heard that, and I was like, well, it's not a proper function. It's not a proper equation if they both have different answers. And that spurred just the creation of the poo and pee theory. We started making equations for it, and like, fuck, we're like, oh, if poop and pee equals three, uh, pee and poo can't equal two, but pee and poo is the reciprocal of poo and pee because it's backwards, so it equals one over three, or maybe it doesn't. And then we have and to then, find the radians, and then like three pi over four obviously equals yeah, 180 degrees. Variables into yeah. Like, what's the height of the poo? What's the length of the pee? How, how long? What's the diameter? Pee? Yeah. Uh, Don't forget to calculate out a uh, cock. Yeah, that's a new concept, exactly. though. We have, that's a new concept. We're kind of touchy yeah, on it. New. We're kind of touchy on it. Look yeah, them, yeah we're you guys up. It's not going to be on the test. Yeah. No, it is. <laughs> the test is tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, you learn, you learn, you learn from the best. This? Yeah. Look, look, yeah, let's put it this way, you throw them into the water, you throw them into the water and they learn how to swim, you know? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it might, it might affect their grade a little, but it's fine, it's... <laughs> <laughs> tiny bitch, I mean, there's, bitch. it's gonna be 75 questions, like and I think... Each, like, yeah. No, 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 75 questions, I think like 35 of them are about the cho the cock theory. We haven't just we haven't just we're gonna discuss it after the midterm though. But uh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you guess we'll on every answer, higher. there's a chance you might get a better score. There's one person that's passing this class, and it's just because I feel bad for them. Jonathan? <laughs> Is it Jonathan? <laughs> he has a D. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> the highest grade the class is literally a D. But, but you know, and then the board came and asked me. So they were like, hey, why don't maybe like a curb or like maybe offer extra help? And I was like, no, 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 they got it. <laughs> well, update, guys. Looks like Raph's gonna come back to the podcast because he got seafood poisoning. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he died. Oh. Oh, that's so sad, guys. Oh man, what the hell are we gonna do now? But um, yeah, we're we're planning to upload more poop and pee lessons on the channel. Um, speaking of YouTube channels, though. I've got some news, some probably some big news. I'll probably put the link to the channel below as well. We're starting a podcast channel in May called the Gargle Moist Podcast. Um, basically, like it's gonna be just like this, except on that channel. I feel like it's better because it's like you don't have to look through my channel. Because I upload, like, random things all the time, and it's kind of, like, messy, where it's, like, I have a podcast series in between, like, a video about eating poop and a video about shitting out eggs, you know what I mean? So, it's, like, it's good to have it organized on a separate channel for that sole purpose, so if you want to listen to podcasts and... Shit out eggs? You want to see? <laughs> it's 
Easter. Dude, I mean, I guess so. Yeah. <gasps> no, it's no Easter was yesterday. But like, also you could like um later like yeah, and just have to be like you. It could also be like um a lot of leads of the podcast. Or like Rev or me or Yeah, whatever. so it gives us all an opportunity and a chance to do our podcast when we feel like it. We don't have to do a monthly podcast, obviously, for that. We do whenever we feel like it. So it's like maybe in some episodes I won't be in it or, you know, one of us won't be in it, but I'll probably be in most of them. But it's it's kinda like a group thing where we all contribute. I think that way it's more rewarding for all of us. So yeah. It's we're starting in May, don't know when in May. But it's right around the corner. It's next month already. I And speaking of May, school's almost over already, too. I cannot wait for the school year I to be over. School. I really can't wait for the school year. 40 days left of school. You do? Days. I have learned nothing. I think I have, like, ten. I thought it would be sad. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine weeks of school left. I forget it the second day, oh. the second the test is over. So that's like 44 days left. <laughs> I have 40, wait, no, not 44, wait. Because this week is like the start of spring break, at least for me. Oh, uh, I have 60, I mean, wait, 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 you get on May? Because I have like 62 days of school left. Well, not counting, well, counting weekends I do, but, hold well, on, if you I do. not have any snow or anything. <laughs> I have, okay, well, 44 hmm. school days left. I, I only have 40. They said 40 on the dot for me. Damn it. You get out earlier. <laughs> I just hate how every time at the end of the school year, the school makes excuses like, oh, well, Jimmy's cock slipped down math class in January, so we kind of have to push the, the last day back to, like, July or something, you know, because, <laughs> you know, you can't control it's your... Like a Monday. Yeah. I just think more education is better. Monday. Yeah, what... They yeah, they, dude, it's the, like having, the worst it's like part having, is they're not even educating us. It's like having a workout routine where you work out ten times a day with no rest. True. And also, the yeah. weirdest... I won't say the school, obviously, for legal reasons and for our sake of protection. But I remember one time, I think, I think it was in sixth grade, the last day of school was on a Monday. And it was a half day. You know, you might as well just give the day off. Because we didn't even no do... No one can. A bunch yeah. of people just didn't come. Yeah, like, it was so pointless. Like, why even bother? And then the year after to that, that every year. And they push it back as far as they can. Yeah, and then and then year after that, seventh grade, I think it was on a Tuesday or something. And and then I think on eighth grade it might have been on a Wednesday. I don't know what it was. I could see Wednesday, but 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 Monday and Tuesday. I can, Tuesday, tell, you, either on a Friday I can, I can Monday, tell you right now. Like, I have a I have a picture from the second to last day. Yeah. I remember you couldn't come in on the last day, so. Yeah. It was oh, so yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so sad, yeah. It was, a good, it was a good last day of school, though. Like, a good last few days of school. Yeah, it, was it really June was. June, 11, June, June 12th. June 12th was the last day. Yeah. What day is that? I'm not going back in time. I'm going back in time right now! <laughs> right here on Total Drama Cock! So, 2019. So, June 11th or 12th. No, that was on a Wednesday. Yeah. I remember when no, I it? when I left school. Bro. Oh, I enjoyed being the there. last time I, I liked school to... was in eighth grade. <sighs> Bro, the, yeah. I I go to school. It was fun. Yeah. Ever since we went to high school, it's just you know, okay, eighth, okay, like sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and then like ninth grade, and then tenth, and so on. It's it's just been going downhill mm -hmm. since like high school. Yep. It's yeah. It was it's a lucky combination of people. Like sadness and misery. Because yeah. we got a lucky combination of people. For we were in the right year. environment for each other, and then like we just got shit luck when going to high school, where it's like it, that we yeah. weren't in the right environment because everyone else was just so different. And I understand that it's how it is in high school, where it's way different. Yeah, well, but. in high school and freshman year, it, it follows through every other year too. Everyone just sticks with their middle school group. It seems like. Yeah, yeah, but I see it in my new school yeah. too. Everyone just sticks with their middle school group, and it's hard to fucking get in the group. Yeah, that's what I was gonna lay uh, points on. Where they just they're they're either too afraid or they don't care. Where it's like they don't want to like you know reach out of their friend group and make friends. They well, just yeah. What's kinda... the point? Because like we're we're humans of like fucking comfort. So like if you're comfortable True. there, then there's no reason. You know? True, but like Especially when when. 
lot, considering I don't go to the same school as you guys. True, and then a lot of, any of the middle schools. Same. Dude, I wouldn't mind going to the school I am right now. Like, even if I don't have a lot of friends, because I, because at least I had like a lano. But it's like now that a lot in a different school, I'm sorry. it's like now I'm I don't know what to do. Like I'm just gonna be sitting alone twenty four seven. And I know Raph goes to the same go school. To the school. I know. Hug him all day. <laughs> the only reason I couldn't go to back to your school is because I was too like I would have to wake up like way too early and like just move like, to your school. Fucking like four. <laughs> just move yeah, to the school. I'll pick a school and go do it. Let's just pick a yeah. Like a like a midpoint. Or we should build our own school. <laughs> Round up. <laughs> yep. Like, we'll steal it's like, just like a garage. We'll kidnap some random teachers from around the state and like put them in the school. And then yeah. Like, oh yeah, I like this teacher, come here. <laughs> Let's fucking get in the van. <laughs> yeah, I mean like yeah. It's I hope I'm, I, I like to stay optimistic. I hope that my high school experience will get better. But to be honest, it's like we're we over, at the end. We overhyped high school. We, no, over, we did. We're at the end of our sophomore year, and I don't feel like I've gotten anywhere. Like, in terms it's of anything. because of the pandemic, too. True. And, too and it was weird because I was actually starting to get to know people, but then the pandemic hit, and now I kind of lost that. That bond with people, and I it feels and it's it's like if when I go back, if I go back next year, it's like it's it's gonna feel like starting all over again, you know. You're gonna have to like. Oh, it sucks for me. I have to like reintroduce myself like, to people. At of, like at the start of the pandemic, I was like, "Yo, it's very messed up how schools are making issues between our mental and social health, and having us have to choose going out." seeing our friends and being happy and uh like our physical like again yeah, our physical health you want to stay home you want to be sad and, all, yada, yada. and now it's kind of just worse for me specifically maybe others but i don't know where it's like wow staying home is just way better like i don't have to wake up in it at an unreasonable time to catch a bus i don't like, yeah. I don't know, convenience of not having to go places. Also, I don't really, I'm not that attached to the majority of people there, so it's not like, oh, you know. E Tro, same sucks. here. Nothing to miss. Nothing yeah, to miss. really is nothing to miss. And it's like, um, they kept trying to force remote learners to go back like multiple times over the course of like last month and this month. It's like, Bro, there's like nine weeks of school left. Can't you just give it a rest? Like, I get it. You're desperate to see me. <laughs> no, grades are dropping. <laughs> I'm serious. That's why they did it. <laughs> like, probably, yeah. I know my grades are worse. I mean, my grades yeah, have. I, mine are literally like an exact letter grade. I used to be like A's and B's, now yeah. I'm B and C. Yeah, like, um, I dropped. I can't say the same, and I hate to. I feel bad when I have to bring up my grades because it's not like it's not like my, my grades aren't bad at all. Like I have all A's. Like my grades have not changed at all. But it's like I feel bad because yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to make other people feel bad when I tell my grades. You know, because whenever I did that in um, school last year, I get yelled at by a bunch of kids and stuff. I get yelled at either way in that school. Just don't want to give off the wrong implication. Yeah, I don't want to like make, make it. Be like, oh, yeah, I don't want to. Actually, I have. Sorry, actually, let me put on my my binoculars for a second and uh, calculate why um uh, I did really well on this uh test. Um, yeah, I'm you're, pretty you smart. All dumbass. My nipples provide <laughs> more milk than your nipples. <laughs> you guys like the new look? I'm. Pigeon 2.0. I'm his evil brother. I'm Harry Potter now, guys. You know what I hate? What? Like, this got, like, irrational, like, not even irrationally mad. Like, you know me. Like, I'll, I'll be like, ah, stop saying liberal. Among Us and I'll <laughs> liberal. fist skyward and jokingly. 
And then there's like legit. Ma it was legit. Ma it's because of the fact of how absolutely terrible a lot of the adults. See if they have don't been care doing. for us. It's the lack of empathy and sympathy. It's just been genuinely taking people down. The fact that I've been, like, console multiple people about similar issues just really speaks to how bad it is, you know? Yeah. Like, I hate the fact that, like, a person I know, like, people I've known have been like, yo, my family is literally, ah, and I'm having these bad thoughts, and... It sucks because, like, you go to health class and they're like, oh, fuck, yeah, if someone's telling you, yeah, you or your friend's feeling like this, you should talk to a trusted parent, guardian, or a teacher. And the worst part is, sometimes, a lot, sometimes, a lot of the time, it's the parents or guardians who are actively the problem. Or True. you can't talk because, yes, they are, they are actively causing the problem, they're, or they're adding to it, or they're being negligent of it. Literally the uh, source. Yes. Again, similar with, like, teachers, where it's just like, yo, this amount of work you're putting on me isn't good for my mental state right now. So I'm stressing out, and that's not helping, you know? Or just parents who are like, yeah. oh, like, who, how do I explain it? Like, who will, like, Be won't take criticism. True. They'll just be disrespectful, and then like call you disrespectful. It's that if you treat them the same way. Yeah, it's like that mentality. You know it's like that mentality where it's like treat others the way you would want to be treated, and when you do it, it's like towards like people your own age. It's like oh, good job. But if you do it towards someone who's like older than you, it's like looked down upon. It's like, don't you want us to like build a confidence against people to like stand up for yourself? It's like I mean, you can res you can respectfully defend yourself. That's like a thing that can. You that too. And oftentimes, it is like that. It is respectfully just saying, "Hey, the way you are speaking to me and or treating me is not okay." And then they they it's like they have such fragile egos, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they melt down. They're like, I can do however I want yeah. because I'm, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the parent. I'm the adult. You're a stupid child. What? What do you mean I'm disrespecting you? Like, oh, monkey. Yeah, do as I say. Hey, not as I do. But you're setting a bad example. That is literally all you're supposed to do. You know. It's also that. And then they'll try to be like, oh, yeah. I feed you, and I bathe you, and I and I give you clothes, and I put a roof over your head, and I'm, and it's like, yo, that's the bare minimum. And even if you do, one, it's not like other people can do that. Like, put me up for adoption if I'm that much of a problem. Uh, two, just because you do that doesn't give you the right to treat people terribly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. that mentality where it's like, oh, I'm older than you, so I'm obviously better than you in every si single way. And it's like, no, you're not. Everyone yeah. has their flaws, and it's like, it's like, like it's yeah. such a stupid way to compare and, like, contrast how smart someone is. And, like, it doesn't even matter how smart someone is. put in the effort to do better. Yeah. My health you know? teacher during the first put, semester would talk mm -hmm. about politics in health class. And she would, and she would make fun of like the other political views. Like I get it. Like oh yeah, well I'm a liberal and I'm Wait, making I fun. I want to know is she is it is it which one? Is, which one is it? It's the liberal vegan teacher. Is it the old one? It's the one where she's like super strict the grading and she like gives you a zero if you get one question wrong. And she, she's like you have to get it's either you, teaching method. If you get, she always lays the class and you have to wait outside the door. <laughs> Yeah, dude, and it's, it's, it's either, it's Wait, either, like, I'm kind of curious, I'm kind of curious what she is now. No, 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 it was an online, it was online class this year, but it's, like, either you get 100% on a, an assignment or a test, or you get a zero, or there's, like, no in-between, because if you get one question wrong, she doesn't, like, give you the grade you get for just 
that, she gives you a zero. Just, like, it doesn't make sense. And then she would give the students an attitude and make... She would laugh at them. She would laugh at the students when they were trying to participate in class because she begged people to. And if someone got something wrong, she would laugh at them. Like, why? You're the one who asked them in the first place. You're the, that, you're the one who's teaching us this I stuff. I would have made fun of her. People like that are the reason why students don't talk in class. And why sometimes when teachers try to use the Socratic method and be like, Hey, what do you guys think? Or, what do you guys think is the answer? Yeah, the class is just... Yeah, my the geometry teacher has to fucking pick out, like, random people. It's because no one says anything if they ask. Mm -hmm. I would have made fun of that teacher. It's because, like, yo, you have to foster a positive enough environment to which they feel... Yeah, your students feel like they're uh, not going to get made fun of or feel worse because they say a wrong answer. That's just straight up. There's something... A lot about our middle school math teacher. He encouraged me to yell, to say an answer even if it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that off that really boosted my self confidence. You know, like, there's a lot of just good teachers out there. It's just really sucky when they just when teachers just don't try. Or they just don't. They do give much, up. You know. Yeah, they, they realize that they don't get paid yeah. enough, and then they kind of make yeah, everyone else suffer. Like, yeah. I have a, a really good teacher in my tech, tech class, you know? He's, he's very he's very smart, he's very organized, um, he's, he's a very nice dude, and he, he's like, yo, um, he's, yeah, the deadline for all of this work through this week is this Friday. Not the day it's due. That way, if you mess, you get, like, stuck, or, you, you know, you can just do it, you know? He'll set it aside after hours for work. He's a very good teacher because he focuses more on you actually learning what's being taught and not you doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like the teacher's work ethic over actually learning the subject. Yep. And it's like a corporate, uh, let's see. You know what I'm saying? Like, sit down, do your work, and then, if you don't, suffer. You ever think about, Sign you ever, like, letter? what? You ever think about, like, also, how weird it is? I need, like, a letter. To... Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait. Can... I'm going first. Yeah. Also, we're going to sign you a, le a letter, and that's going to define how uh, your worth, you know, and how others perceive you. If this letter isn't a good letter, mm, sucks to suck. I guess we perceive you, and other people are gonna perceive you dumb and not deserve it as much. You know, you know, should have done better. There, way too much attention. Yeah, and that's gonna affect the stress out. But on top of giving you that, we're not actually, you know, that. We're actually not gonna give you the, the the stuff you need to continue to have this really good letter. So you're gonna kind of just, you know. Mm, I like Anyways, chicken. Sorry for cutting. I don't. It's just and it's really like weird. that thing where you have like a jar of pickles, and it's like you, you can't season it the right way. Like who eats horseradish with pickles? Like why don't you eat tartar sauce with, with pickles? But anyways, go ahead, Alana. No. <laughs> Stop being a little prissy bitch and talk. <laughs> Don't be uh, shy. Share with the class. Yeah, show us your face cam though, please, or else I'm gonna fail you. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very lonely in my office, Alano. Please show your face. Oh please, God. Alano, show your face. I'm getting very I'm horny. Right. I'm alone. I get. I usually get horny at 2 p.m. <laughs> in the afternoon. You know, after all the students carry on to the next for last period of class, uh, right here on my free time class. Okay, well, you ever think about how weird it is that just like, just the way school is in general. It's just, even like like the early, the early grades too. Like the the whole, 
Like, you can't talk to anybody else you're in major trouble. You have to raise your hand and walk in lines. We we used to practice walking in lines around the school. Like It was like a military operation. <laughs> like, it was so weird, thinking back. And it's still like I that. You it. Um... Children that we pass nah, we're men. a very big... We don't have underwear, oh, now we're men. We have hands on... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Hey, children. Stupid little idiot loud children. I know we packed you into this room. And we know that you're children and that you're loud. You guys need to shut I'm tired of hearing you converse and have fun and talk. <laughs> yeah. Loud. Okay? Jeez. You know what? Matter of fact, put all your heads down. You don't talk. Seven up? Just, just seven sit up. down. Dude, what happened to seven up? Us, like the Remember that? Weirdos. Remember that one game we had in uh, school where it's like you put your head down and then it's like you put your thumb up. Dude, I remember all the time when I used to do that and Alana was in the classroom. He would just know that it's me. Like he just knew <laughs> it was me. It fucking textured to your hand. It was so obvious. No, like I, I <laughs> like I, I I did this sometimes and then sometimes I did that. I don't know what I do. I don't know why he was able to figure out it was me. Reduces a mucus, <laughs> and it goes across my arm into my nose, and I smell it. <laughs> yeah, I did that oh, once, actually. The next evolution of humankind. <laughs> Somewhat as. But yeah, I don't. Schools aren't about learning or teaching kids material. It's about doing work. And acting like an obedient thing, you know? Also, you know, What? How do parents just get surprised when they're like, when you're like, oh, no, I'm having problems at school. I hate school. I don't enjoy being at school. What do you. Oh. I genuinely want to know their school experiences. Because. True. Back Did in my day, we had to go in the coal mine, dirt science class, get some media. carbon dioxide samples. That's how they. That's probably how they would. That's probably how they would like, um, like uh, describe their their experiences in school. They make it so dramatic. I know. Like we have such a big opportunity to do better in society because we have so much technology. We've got everything right in our little tiny little palms. Like, why don't you just, instead of complaining about how, oh, these dang whippersnappers, I ah, don't get technology, why don't you teach yourself, because you are a teacher, and teachers are always open to learn things, that's what your main intention is, and why don't you just ha take advantage of this opportunity and make... If you can teach students a subject, you can teach yourself how to use technology properly. Google, show me this guy's cock and bolt. And if you just can teach students with the technology that you teach yourself to use. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm pooping and peeing and pooping, but I can't throw up because I'm pooping and peeing in the toilet bowl. Hey, mm. I can't throw up. I ate a bologna sandwich earlier, and now I'm pissing out the saturated fats that everyone told me that I couldn't hit with a baseball bat. I'm pooping and I'm peeing. Can't you see me? I am peeing. I'm pooping and I'm Plooping and I ran for administrator for the Congress of 1774, which is the electoral college that was based off of the act. The act of saying that pooping and <laughs> honestly, guys, if you didn't know, I had a music channel and I have not thought of anything. I have not thought of a new song yet. It's mainly just poop and pee songs. You should make a song a growl. What? <laughs>
Hey Why guys, not? it's Paul McCartney on the Beatles channel, and you're listening yeah. to the Beatles channel on Sirius XM. Hey, it's John Why? Lennon, you're listening to the Beatles on Sirius XM channel. Hey, it's George, and you're listening to the Beatles on Sirius XM channel. Hey, it's Ringo, and you're listening to the Sirius XM on Sirius XM channel on the Beatles channel. Hey, did you know, George and John Lennon, I actually outlive both of you? Oh, that's great to know, Ringo Starr. Let me go into my apartment in New York and walk in and out of it in 1980 on Christmas Eve. Oh, maybe I'm just going to go smack a, smoke a pack of cigarettes till I get some sort of disease. Thank you for letting me know, Ringo, that you'd live both, uh, outlive both of us. <laughs> and you're listening to the Beatles channel on Sirius XM. This is Paul McCartney. Now listening to oh. Bound on the Run by Wings. Um. Um. You know, I, if I survived 20 more years, I probably would have lived to see the twin. I'm not going to go there. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go to the Twin Towers. No. I'm not going there. <laughs> oh. I'm not going there. Okay. Um. Anyways. Um, the lack of empathy and sympathy that is found in a lot of today's adults, I feel like is, um, actually people in general is encouraged by the society we live in. Society. I mean, one, capitalist system. Like, that is, sole purpose isn't to exploit people. Two. A lot of things just lead up into people being like bad people, just not caring for its other, just, you know, unempathetic, unsympathetic. They don't think. There's no consideration or compassion. Like, for example, like I want to make a video about like toxic masculinity because I have a lot to say about that, especially because I'm a dude. Ha! You know, I'm a man, a and I've got a cock. Uh, Wake up in the morning for some of this cock a doodle do. You want it? Oh. Surf's up, bro. Oh. I because I'm a dude. I not only am a victim of it, and I have the uh, potential to actively out on it. You know, like um a very complex thing and I'd like to educate fellow gun men about the issue because it's very big and it's a very serious thing and I feel like it's essentially my way of saying yo bro let me help you with that or hey maybe you don't do this thing you know because I think not calling your friends out or especially your bros out on what they're doing is the lead cause to very bad dudes, you know, dudes who are like, oh, I'm super straight. I just, you know. Did we talk about this last episode? I'm not going to do that, that's gay. You know? You gotta be embarrassed <laughs> to get rid of some bad qualities. Yeah. Hey, maybe you don't make this joke. It's a bad joke. You shouldn't say that. Thing. Or, hey, let me educate you on this topic. That way, you can understand that you're being somewhat closed minded right now or you're offensive, you know? That's what I did because I remember I used to be one of those people that was like, when the Aunt Jemima thing happened, was like, oh, but it's just maple syrup. But then I kind of like, you know, researched it a little more. And even though Aunt, Aunt Jemima was like a fake, like, it was like she was just a concept, right? But people were like black, mm -hmm. like black facing in the 1900s, like, of her. So it's like now it makes sense why it got removed because it's like why it's like now so it's, it's 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 a yeah it's like why would it's like you don't want blackface like in the grocery store I mean unless you go to like yeah. a KKK rally but still anyways besides that um and then there's like people you that are like the effort and time to educate yourself on a subject yeah I respect you for that and I like yeah. That's awesome. That's dope. That's smart. Yeah, and then, you know, and now I look at the comments where it's like, oh, well, it's just maple syrup. But if it's just maple syrup, they don't make a big deal that they remove the logo. It shouldn't be that it's hard. It's not the maple 
syrup itself, it's what it stands for. It's the symbol. Yeah. Belong, you know? Yeah. Just like, like how Lotto Milk got a that. revamp, and now it's like two boobies instead of one. Because no one, I mean, well, some people have one boob. But like two boobies, you know, it's like, <laughs> it won't be versatile, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the boobs was just racist, sexist, and homophobic. Yeah, you gotta get rid of that rid boob. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta <laughs> cut it up. The milk comes out of the gallon. It's like a gallon of milk, but it's like it has boobs. It's like you, it doesn't have a bottle cap. You kind of like it's, you kind of like suck out of it or like kind of like squeeze it. Like a gallon. It gets into the cup. <laughs> it makes and every time you do it, it like it kind of has like a built-in sound. It's like I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy your milk. Come again next day. <laughs> I will. <sighs> yeah, I will. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I spaced out. So. I've been talking about piss How and you have so much intelligence and creativity, <laughs> and you use it invisibly <laughs> and gutturally to drive a lano milk. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's people in, in Mori's cool? server. You use it for? There's people in Mori's server that are talking about peeing. We should probably go in there and scream at them after this podcast. They don't know anything about what they're talking about? They're frauds. <laughs> yeah, we're the true pissers. I'm educated. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a professional on this subject. I got it. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Where are they? Where are they? What server is it? Serious Cyber? Yeah, it's the general. It's uh, we have Discord servers and we talk about the most weirdest stuff, guys. So. I am the piss king. Where's where's the pee? Where where that though? Pissed though. I love piss. Yeah. I'm the number one fan. <laughs> remember helper oh, ham hamburger <laughs> I remember hamburger helper. I hated that thing. I hated that hand. I wanted to like mm, carve its eyes out or like bend its fingernail. Like mm, I hated that thing. Uh. <laughs> I was gonna start talking about how good our middle school experience was, but talk about the new Among Us airship map now. That's like a new map. Please. Please don't start that. Raph, that. you're not dead of seafood poisoning. Congratulations. Welcome back. Honestly, uh, I feel like I'm living better than I was in middle school. Except, except I, I just don't have the people. I feel like I have grown and matured as a person so much. I'm not the man I want to be, but I am exponentially better than I'm at the man I used yeah, like to be. Yeah, physically and, and mentally, I'm crazy mature. Hmm? I've now I haven't matured. They about pee and poop the other day. <laughs> pee and poop. You know, we can be serious when we want, when we want to or need to be. You know. I feel like I've become too is mature. It's just morbid at this point. I is that a like spoon I'm bowl? <sighs> what? Is that a raft bowl? I still remember. Oh yeah, hold on. I ate like eight mozzarella sticks. What? What? I ate eight mozzarella sticks. Oh, why? 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 Raph, are you dead? Did you uh, die? I feel, I feel pretty well now. I think I was just hungry. The mozzarella oh. sticks fix it. Um, I oh. mean, good thing, Raph. Tarp? Huh? Hmm? Wonder back? <laughs> I'm watching I like this conversation as like fucking 
Should I eat some cereal? Should I eat a bowl of cereal in front of you guys? Dude, cereal tastes yeah. way- Yes! Cereal part two! We haven't had a sequel since 2019! Oh. Anyways, um... I will deliberately cool. run on this podcast, just so Raph can eat cereal again. Anthony, I can hear the milk! One of your favorite <laughs> oh my god, it sounds Anthony. so good. Oh my god. Anthony, please, I can't just... focus. Sorry. Anthony, what I was gonna ask, what was one of your most favorite middle school moments? Favorite middle school moments? Oh my God, there's so many. So many. Hold on, I I have to think of it. Alano and Tess were on the library just messing around for like an hour straight. Oh, probably the most memorable moment is when I cut Raph's face with a pillow. Oh my God. (laughs) That's that was funny. Remember we used to um, try to practice making half, music? The and second half of 8th grade was so fun. Yeah, remember we tried yeah. making music? It and was so good. Remember we, we tried making mu- music? We every day, bro. But we met, yeah. It didn't, remember the drone? I never, did, I never did homework at home. I just came to school and then did it real quick. Dude, remember yeah, the drone so and how good. we just yeah. didn't win that year? Even though we had like the one of the uh, they just didn't want us to win. They, did, they didn't want us to win twice in a row with a similar idea. That was it, probably. Probably, but it's still there's like I'm not trying to be like a like a big shot, but it's like That's a big lie because people did several sign projects the year before. And yeah, several sign projects. I wasn't that. trying to be a big shot or anything, um, but I felt like our board should have won. Like, and there's some other good boards too, but it's like. I, I feel like we should have made it a little more original. Like the actual idea, but yeah, but I mean, I remember when Alano and I were laughing at the boards and like recording it and everything. <laughs> remember that Alana? We were That's, laughing. It seemed some, a bit me. Some kids were having crazy. like their names plastered like half on the board. And they still made it to like the state finals. I mean, to be fair, one kid, like, took a paintbrush. <laughs> one kid like really like there was no nothing on the board except for his name. <laughs> we it laughed just, at it. We laughed at it. It was just like Jordan. Or something. <laughs> we laughed at it. And I was so Jordan. One of the teachers. Bro. One of the teachers uh, caught us laughing, and they got mad. Like, don't make fun of them. <laughs> it looked really bad out of context. <laughs> <laughs> we were laughing at it. Remember, it his name. <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember when we used to make you stand like this seriously next to that step board, and I used to like just walk stand up really stupidly next to it. <laughs> and I walked up next to it. You look so serious. <laughs> We're still laughing to this this day. Oh. Oh. I think like a lot of good times. Like, lunchtime. Very the kid funny. with the plunger. Yeah, that was also another. We need to make a top ten list of, of like all the good things that happened in that year. Like the the things we did in those bathrooms should never be. Speak. Like how we T posed around an innocent sixth grader? Eighth grade graduation. Boys in the in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. I managed to somehow coax the majority of the eighth grade boys just into the boys' bathroom. I remember that. That was a lot but of people. It was. And then we just walked out and it was a line of blue. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> From the back. Yeah. Just an, it was funny. The made it funnier is that a lot of people were just there in the perfect time to just see it happen. Just a line of like twenty boys coming out like they're <laughs> <laughs> like dancing and singing. We sung happy birthday terribly for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. We could we should have did fucking like sea shanties or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with a drunk <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh. Uh, Bodeable. I want to go back to Bodeable. That was a fun place. Yeah. I so like going in, like, the crawling my... through it and then getting lost in the cheese grater and then going back to the grapefruit. Yes. I think, like, I think that is my favorite field trip I've. Not even just, like, trip I've ever been on as of recently. Like, yeah, because that joke was fun. Good eats, good fun. It was just. No. Also, I think that was like my first time, like really solidifying myself, like 
with you guys. With you, Tess, Raph, yeah, yeah. Oh my you know god. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude. Um, another moment, boys' day. A, a, boys day? Oh yeah, all the girls are gone. Yeah. Girls day. All the girls are gone. No <laughs> woman in <laughs> sight. No just a clear <laughs> open gym. <laughs> well, yeah, all the boys. Boys dream. Gym honestly. class. They the honestly it was funny because the girls Sat thought they were. Mr. Weed, 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 yes. Yeah, it is funny because the girls honestly thought they were gonna have it better than us. Cause like, oh, we're going on a field trip and none of you guys are coming with us, and it, it, they were wrong we were because like, we had I, more for, fun. For some reason, they, like for some reason they believed us when we were like, oh, we just merged individuals. You got we have like gym and then math and then it's lunch time. Then we just have math, and then gym. It's and just, we go home. It was amazing. So they just let us do that. For some reason. They just let us sit in, like, um... The Mr. X class, and just talk. See, this... Did what, that them. was literally a day we just owned the school. <laughs> the building. Dude, this is what yeah. happens when you're in the top of the food chain. Where, like, you know, 8th grade or the oldest grade in the school. That's what happens. It's like, you get more perks. And I feel like, hopefully, I really hope that happens when we're seniors, where we get more of that stuff. I don't we, think that it'll happen, but not to the same degree, because we don't yeah. have as much time to... Yeah, uh, yeah. We still have to dip our cocks in the SATs. Yo, especially for me, I'm in a new place. I still don't know anybody. I know. <laughs> you know me. I go to your school. You're gonna be the top dog. Yeah. yeah. I like dogs. Dude. We're really? gonna buy freshmen for lunch money, despite the fact that we don't need lunch money. Speaking of which, lunch debt. Why was that? Why were you putting students in debt? Like, literal children. Because that's food. funny. I like Pretty to sure see people die. For, for lunch. <laughs> Soap it up a 401k. <laughs> and I feel like that's a very American thing of the school system to do. You know? Yeah. I just bring my own so I don't have to pay. It still costs yeah. money. But... Yeah. Like, I don't have to pay. And it was weird. Dude, you gotta pay it's for good. lunches at my school, and it's absolutely t dog shit. <laughs> I got it once. It, you know those um peanut butter jelly kind of kind of things. Like, Uncrustables. It's like, uh, yeah, that's all it is. It's just that and like a yogurt. <laughs> and a milk. It's that. Prison food. It's literally. <laughs> Dude, I don't. They have. It's a rich school. I don't know where they put all their money into. Bro, it, like. that junk <laughs> tastes like depression. I remember. I, oh God, my the kids. My kids will never see the fucking our old lunches. I got to see the regression of lunches. Remember the burgers when they had cheese and all the <laughs> shit you could put on them? Yeah. No more are those days. I saw the Run cheese go. We had and I cheese burgers. Of, they had, they had, like, uh, the ketchup, cheese, if you wanted it, and, like, tomato and lettuce, right? And then there's, like, kidneys, da 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 Yeah. It, no Bro, more. Bro, they give us two buns and a patty. Yeah. I we're lucky. They got rid of the condiments, and then the cheese, the cheese was... They're <laughs> gonna get rid of the, the meat cheese. patty next, <laughs> it's just gonna be bread. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we, we, we gotta hear him. We gotta listen to him. Oh my god, this is definitely going on the Peter Schmidl channel. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I love oh your god. mommy deluxe. I love the cereal. Oh, you have to pay for this one. Oh, oh my god, we haven't seen good. anything like that in years, Raph. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Look more oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make a pog face while the, like, the cereal's in your mouth. Yeah, it's gonna spill out. My cat's on my bed. Guys, this I is my dinner camera. for tonight. <laughs> this is my dinner. You should throw that thing. <laughs> like a linity. You haven't eaten that thing yet? <laughs> I gotta wait for it to get fatter a little. I mean, look at it. We snow, we snow. <laughs> you know what you pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like swimming. That's how you pick cats up. Why is your cat so <laughs> limp and he just lets you? <laughs> <laughs> so limp. <Yeah. laughs>
That looks trauma. <laughs> That looks good. <laughs> you look like a stuffed animal. <laughs> Anthony, you got the video a few times. What you give me say? It's okay. It's okay. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it that just guy walks up and dies. Uh, it's okay. You're not gonna die today. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I do pick it up, it kind of like meows at you. <laughs> it, looks like it's, it looks like she just gave up on life. <laughs> he just lets all of his limbs go. Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. She didn't even look up or anything. She just limped. Anthony, what did you do to that cat? <laughs> All I do is pet it. You can like, it. pick it up and like flip it like a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Anthony takes that thing by the tail and it around. like a rodeo. <laughs> Old Texas showhouse. Uh, so, you uh, yeah. <sighs> Great, like yeah, like um. Middle school is fun of fun moments. The last day of middle school is still ingrained into my mind. I cried on the bus home several times. Yo, that day. I wasn't there. Nah, for, wait, are we talking about the last day of school? Yeah, I'll tell you where that started. You guys don't know this. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Ben, I didn't go there. You know that room where Miss McGee was, guys? Like the 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 pig, yeah. yeah. The pit. Yeah, me and Tess were just there, and then I started crying. And we all went to that that corner, and then Jazzy I found us, house. and then she started. She took her phone out and took a picture. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look! They're in the most vulnerable moment. Let's go take a picture of them. This sucks. This sucks, losers. <laughs> I was there too. Was so there. They, like, it's just like a Snapchat yeah. story. It's like cry they're crying. And then Alexis, wow. Alexis wow. comes back to the school <laughs> and does his last presentation of "I love racism" one more time. Oh, for all good old sakes! You know when he said he was gonna visit back and he never did. Thank God. I feel like that was like sarcasm. I don't think he liked it. He didn't, I don't think he liked the school. But I'm glad he didn't come back. Dude. I remember I just walked in and I was like, yo, yo, dude. Because it was, it was like, you two and I think I saw Raph. I saw Raph and I was like, yo, what's happening over here? And y'all were sitting there and then you were crying and then I started crying and then Raph started crying and then, and then people came in from the gym and then and everyone people just. People started crowding and then everyone started crying. <laughs> people and just Caesar walk was in. Wandering through and I'm like, Caesar, why aren't you? What, what, you good? And he's like, I just don't cry. <laughs> I don't feel. I don't feel. I don't feel anything. I'm all right. Caesar's got to be one of the funniest people in the entire school. One of the funniest people I've ever met. Caesar's not. He's so hilarious. He doesn't. He said he's never he's cried. <laughs> I'm just like, dude. <laughs> he just doesn't feel anything. It's fun. I can imagine you guys just like there's just a line of people that are all cheery and happy, and then just a line of them just like walking in, like marching in the in the room, and they come out. And they're all just fucking crying <laughs> in a line. Dude, I just that, that was how dismissal was. It was at the end of the day. Everyone Yo, no one wanted to leave. Going to the bus, no crying in tears. Dude, I remember on the bus. Oh, a lot of, screaming, a lot of Oh my god, that was like a fucking movie moment. The buses were like Lalano rules. <laughs> I remember I'm that. On the sidewalk, the bu people are out the window like Alano rules. Alano rules, you win Alano! You're like the karate kid! <laughs> Dude, Alano really is the main character, bro. He was. Uh, I, I think you guys don't know this, but Alano was the main character. Yeah, we were just his little uh, elves that helped him wrap his gifts. Like Coco. Oh. Think of it from a from a from, from, from you a writer, right? You 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 see the traits, right? He he's definitely give main character vibe. Alano gives me no. such visceral feelings because he stands out because he does you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like so put Alano I would aura. immediately just yeah. like there's something about it. It's just like his pure energy. In his soul, and his like yeah, he like there's a certain gravity to him, you know, and it like if you were to see people's energy like just flowing out of them, like they were like I like activating their key in Dragon Ball or something like that. A lot of us would be like through the fucking roof, like it's so it's just 
This is so weird. His cock be like on the Damn, ceiling. <laughs> And like I, I it's like look, I don't know if I've told you this before, but like I, I sometimes do this thing where I can like just sit back and just like pass out for a second and then like or not pass out but like just really get really relaxed. I can just feel people. I'm and gonna feel you in I a know second. It a little bit a little bit like I've been you know what I mean but no, like actually <laughs> just, If I had a hat I'd tip it. Be there, completely silent, completely still, and I just feel people. And like I'll I'll just like be in a room standing there and I just like feel the energy from people. It just like it just feels like some energy is bigger, some energy is smaller, and then it's just like you feel a lot of those energy. It's like all right, it, it just gets a lot of those energy is constant and never changes. It's like a bright white light. Yeah, <laughs> I am death. I remember He's those. Like a... <laughs> remember those times He's you used like to microwave. scream out the window. Like, there are peop you know how there's always people walk on the streets, and then, you know, visible from a school? I remember all the time we'd, like, open the windows in the morning, at, like, 7 in the morning, we'd just scream, and, and the people on the streets would I just, like... How we had so much energy at 7 in the fucking morning. Now in yeah. school, everyone's completely solid until at least 9 o'clock in the morning. Depressed, yeah. Everyone wants to leave. True. Everyone's on no, their I phones. I think the reason why, like, middle school was so good is because we enjoyed being there, our teacher... So he's dead. I he, no, Raph took the, Raph, had to go. Raph replaced a lot of. He had to go. He had to go have <clears> sexual <throat> True. With me. Anyways, um. Carly loves him. Yes. So, is there any other topics we can talk about? Hmm. Um. I want to talk about Genshin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Genshin. Like you love, go, Raph. love go me. Go off, Raph. Okay. Go stupid. Within twenty hours, there is gonna be a new character. Well, he's not new. He came up before. People, people love this guy. His name is Child. Child happens to be one of the best DPSs in the entire game. If one of you manages to get him within the two weeks that he's available. You will use him your entire career. Child is a phenomenal DPS. Literally amazing. The way his character works is that he has a bow that turns into swords. So where he uses a normal bow, his ability does not turn into Is he that water dude? Huh? Is he that water dude? Yep. Fran has him. Yeah, he's... he's Overpowered as shit. His ultimate does anywhere from like 60k damage at my level. 60k is a lot of damage. That's the entire health of a pyro. That's that can one shot literally everything in your world in one hit. Hmm. Well, speaking of hit, I'm gonna have to hit it off because. <laughs> wrap up this podcast is what I mean. Because I'm gonna wrap you up. Do it. Nom, nom. Anyways, see you guys in the next episode. Like and subscribe. And That's make right. sure to turn Money. notification bell. Greed. And well, pay off your 401k, Susan. Without reason. Bye.